Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are about to start the info session today that's focused on the Transformational Travel Design Program. So you're all very welcome. I see here Anania, Rachel, Stephanie, Ivo, Ash. Welcome everyone. So I always like to do these sessions interactive. So if you are in position of turn on your camera, so we will um, get to know each other. We I also gonna give you like a 30 seconds each uh, so you can introduce yourself. I think this is a good uh, opportunity to meet other people in the travel space. I see here Ash, good to see you Ash. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> yeah, so um, of course, if it's not possible, you have also the option of the chat. So feel free to leave your details in the chat. So uh, if you have any social links, maybe LinkedIn profile, website, something that you want to share with the rest of the audience. So we are recording this session and a recording will be sent uh, to everyone after the session. For those who don't know me, my name is Sonia. I'm the head of allies at the DTC, at the Transformational Travel Council. And as I mentioned, we are going to talk about the Transformational Travel Design Program today. So before we get started, I will give you um, the opportunity, as I mentioned, hi Thibault, good to see you, to introduce yourself very briefly, just who you are, where are you in the world, and if you're going to tell us what do you do or why you are here, uh, so I can all also um, get to know you better and give you from the presentation what you are here uh, looking for. Okay, so let's hear from Ash and then Thibault. Hi, everyone. Um, so my name is Ash Swords. Um, I am a member of TTC, but I have not done the design program yet. Um, very interested in the immersive now that I've spoken to Sarah um, for the one in Ecuador. I am a transformational and regenerative travel agency owner. Um, I've been in travel for about two years now, and I actually guide clients coming from burnout and the sandwich in life um, to be able to set that space, be able to take the break um, and physically be able to transform their lives in an emotional, physical, mental capacity. Um, I'm also writing a book and um, working on a mindset program because jet lag's not real. So I'm um, very happy to be here. Um, absolutely love TTC if you're not a member just the people alone are worth it. Now, thanks, Asha. It's good to see you here. Uh, let's hear from Thibault. I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly. Apologies. And then we hear from Yes. Steve. Yes, hi. Uh, I am I am Thibaut. Yes, you you said it correctly. I'm French. Uh, actually, I'm in Colombia, in Cartagena de Indias. Um, I I'm the CEO of uh, of a DMC travel agency that is called Tempo Colombia, uh, and uh, and yes, we operate uh, in in the whole country, and and I think that uh, we are working a lot with insiders. You know, we do all the all the basic, but we're also working with insiders that are people that are part of the imaginary of Colombia, but they are not part of the tourism industry, you know? And so we create like very different experiences like that and um, work with journalists, we chore chore choreograph, choreograph, yes, you understand? Uh, we work with musicians, we work with, uh, with lots of people that are like writers and uh, people that are not part of the, the tourism industry. So I'm very interested in, in this uh, session. And also I am working with, uh, I'm starting to a uh, mission to work with uh, Emmanuel Rengad, uh, that is the owner of Catu Saba and Pisinguaba, that are two hotels in Brazil. Um, and uh, and we, are, we are going to design a lot of experiences also in this hotel. So, uh, yes, I'm very happy to, to, to meet you and uh, to participate. Many Likewise. thanks. Likewise, Thibault, thanks for being here. I'm so glad you found us and you joined us today. Okay, uh, Sima, I don't, I don't see you if you are there. Uh, Sima, if you can unmute yourself and introduce yourself briefly, and then we will go to Ananya. Mm. 
I don't know if you're there, Sima. You can hear us. Okay, let's hear from Ananya. Hey, I'm Ananya. I'm from India, but I'm currently living in Mexico City. I have been a screenwriter all my life, writing movies, TV shows, but uh, right now I'm considering a career change and having been nomadic for a while and traveled a lot, uh, I know that travel is calling to me and I do see the transformational powers of it. I've been thinking of combining travel and designing immersive experiences to make your travel a lot more interactive and um, transformational but I'm not in that space here. So I'm here to learn and understand more about it, connect with like-minded people and understand what opportunities might exist. You are in the right place, Anania. Thank you for being here. So I have here a message from Stephanie. She had to leave. Okay, she will watch the recording. And I only have Sima here. If you can hear us, Sima, and you cannot talk, please leave the details um, in the chat. And this is for everybody. So if you want to connect each other, feel free to leave your social media, LinkedIn, website, email, whatever you want to do there, because I know these sessions attract uh, like-minded people. So it would be good to use this as an opportunity for networking and meet more people. Although you are welcome also to join uh, one of our uh, ally, um, community uh, ally sessions if you want as a guest. So you can reach out after the call if you're interested. I will uh, tell you more information. But today we are going to focus on the program in the Transformational Travel Design Program which we have the two last um, programs of the year coming soon. I see here Marika joining. So I don't know if you want to quickly introduce yourself, Marika, before we start. We just did a quick round of 30 seconds. I see you there. Hi, welcome. If you want to tell Hi. us who you are and where are you in the world and what you do before we get started. Sure. sure. Um, I apologize for being late. First, I couldn't figure out the technical no side. Um, my company is International Nature and Cultural Adventures, and we've been in business since 1976. And I'm very interested in learning more about transformational travel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're in the right place then as well. Okay, so I see Sima said hello here in the chat. Okay, Sima, if you want to introduce yourself then in the chat, it's fine. Um, and the same, uh, Marika, if you want to leave your um, details, uh, social media or links, you are very welcome to connect with each other. And I'm gonna share my presentation. Let me see if the technology wants to work today. Am I recording? Yes, right. Okay. One of these guys, uh, this is what happened when you go live and the technology is not on your side. Okay, now you can see maybe the presentation. Yeah. Okay, so you see me uh, moving my face. I have to screen, so I hope it's okay. I can see you here all, so that's great. Okay, so as I mentioned, if uh, you're interested in community and meeting other like minded people, like the ones we are here today, but in a uh, more, more amount of people, so I will um, uh, be delighted to welcome you as a guest on one of our ally uh, gatherings that we have every month. Just reach out after this call. But today we're going to focus on the design course, the Transformational Travel Design course, um, which we have two left this year. But before we get started, I want to introduce you the facilitator. So Ivana um, uh, Tanjanovic, she's from, originally from Serbia. She's the person who is in charge of the course. So if you decide, decide to join the course, she's going to be your uh, teacher. Uh, she has almost 20 years of university course design and international teaching experience. She's originally from Serbia. She's been in a lot of European universities and she's associate professor PhD in sustainable tourism and protected areas. 
her interest and expertise uh, is in sustainable tourism, but also uh, in, in the transformational and regenerative. And she also is an author in sustainable tourism and research. So um, this is a bit about her. So what we do here in the Transformational Travel Council, I don't know if you are familiar with our work. So maybe you are in our um, emailing list or you uh, check our website. Uh, so we believe that change comes from within. A travel is a powerful catalyst for this change that people are seeking. So the definition of transformational travel, we define it, uh, the Transformational Travel Council defines it this way which is intentionally traveling to stretch, learn, and grow into new ways of being and engaging with the world. So see here the word intention is very important, intentionally traveling, traveling with intention. What's the intention? The intention is to stretch, learn, and grow, okay? So it's a, as a means of personal growth to become the best version we can be, new ways of being and engaging with the world. Because it's not only about us, it starts with us, it starts with within, but then it's like a ripple effect. We, the way we engage with others, so this will impact other people as well and overall the communities. It's not about the kind of travel, it's about the result of travel. And yes, any change that maybe you um, try to change something in your life um, and you know uh, that it's not something maybe simple but not easy, and this is a challenge when uh, people want to change something in their life. The failure, failure rate can be as high as 90%. If you try, you know, people will try maintaining weight loss or quit smoking, the famous New Year resolutions or fitness goals. So we know that um, it took, uh, it, it's not as easy as we would like, right? So what's the problem with change? Travel professionals, we are interested in transformation for our culture and our customers but we need to provide an effective context and we need to provide tools for you know, helping with this behavior change. And travelers on their own side, they seek transformation, but the action of sustaining this change can be difficult. So we know that um, because we call transformational travel means that the uh, changes need to be sustained. Uh, they are not temporary, they are lasting, right? So how we sustain this uh, is, is difficult. It's easy to just have this great time away, then go back again and fall back into all patterns and fall back in the status quo. So helping that uh, sustain the change because it's difficult can result in disappointing outcomes and dissatisfaction. So our focus areas are using the behavioral science to effectively guide transformation. Nobody can promise transformation, but you can um, you know, provide these tools, you can provide uh, the, the platform for people um, that is um, you know, demonstrated scientifically for people that they have to do their part, of course, but you can facilitate this transformation through travel. So learning how to design meaningful um, transformational uh, experience, travel experiences, and deliver you know, this um, sustainable impact that sustains over time for our organizations and over guests. So maybe some of you heard about the transformation economy. If not, I will encourage you to, after this call, go on Google and maybe uh, search uh, Joseph, Joseph Pine. And he's uh, uh, famous for his research. Uh, he's wrote this article for Harvard University called The New You. So um, it's a good read there. And basically, uh, he explains, also he has a very good YouTube video, if you want to research after, just find the transformation economy. So he explained better than me, but I'm going to summarize it uh, very briefly. So he explains now that the, uh, the market is ready for transformation. Actually, people are asking transformation. They are not um, happy enough just with experiences. They want something more, okay? So he gives this example of coffee, the coffee industry. And he explains like coffee is commodities, it's coffee beans, right? So the value of this uh, cup of coffee in coffee beans, maybe it's like uh, two, three cents. But if we take this coffee and we um, roast the coffee and we put it in uh, we pack it in package and we put it in the supermarket, it becomes goods. And then these goods, um, the value of, of that goods in a cup of coffee maybe is uh, 15 cents, okay? But then we take this coffee and we brew the coffee and we you know, go to a coffee shop and, and they deliver the service of bringing the coffee already done. So they do it for us, right? So they do a service. So maybe then you will pay like, $2 or 2 euros per, per cup of coffee. 
But then the next level, so there are these companies of Starbucks uh, or Nespresso, that they make the art of coffee like experience. So you have those espresso machines, right? Uh, so they want to do the experience of making a cup of coffee. Or Starbucks people go there for the experience, not just for the coffee. So uh, you will, uh, the market is uh, ready to pay like $4 uh, or more, right? So yeah, and it's the same, co it's the same, um, the value is two cents of coffee beans, right? So this explains how um, the, the, the economy um, has been evolved and uh, people are ready for the next level. So he explains Joseph Pine. He used to talk about the experience economy, and now he says, now we are in the transformation economy. So people are not, um, they don't settle for just for experiences. They want more. They want to become better. They want to better, better themselves. And this is applicable with travel. So they're not just looking at experiences. They want to come back transformed. So that's why transformational travel, we are in the right place in the right time, right? We are in the transformation economy. So this is what we explain in our courses. So for those who are not familiar with ATTC, we are all about community. I mentioned earlier that we have this community of allies, our members that we gather together and we create um, you know, this uh, like-minded community where we support, we help each other, we collaborate together. It's always a win-win uh, collaboration, never competition. And then the other side uh, is also under the umbrella of uh, transformational travel, we have the education. And with the education, we have all the research we've done, right? So all the experts we have is rooted in positive psychology, mythology, neuroscience, deep ecology, spiritual transcendence, all this rigorous, um, you know, foundational framework that we created, that we put all together. So you don't need to go there and do your research. We just, we put all together and we deliver to you through our courses. Okay, so to help shift travel from a passive and consumptive experience to an active and life enriching practice okay that continually fosters inner development because this as i said it starts with within but outer impact okay it's not does not end with us just starts with us but it's this ripple effect we, we want to do so if we change enough people eventually we will change the, we will change the world positively for the better so this uh, travel that we are uh, want to create here the future of travel or we believe already the present of travel is uh, to reduce stress, burnout, depression, anxiety, disorientation, distraction. So people are feeling lost. And, you know, in this uh, situation that they, they know travel, they have this intuition somehow that travel can help them, but it's not as easy if we, as a facilitators, uh, we don't help. So what we can do, right? So we just shift this from reducing the problems that they have and actually boosting um, the self-awareness the consciousness, confidence. This is a big one. People are looking uh, to travel to feel more confident. This is one of the big transformations of positive change people are looking. Um, and of course, a peace of mind, a calm, relax, right? Um, sense of belonging as well. Meaning and purpose. So these are uh, good ones. So welcome, Natalia. Um, and thanks uh, for joining us today. So we are basing all these uh, courses that we offer, the Transformational Travel Design courses, our signature course. Um, and I will introduce to you now in a while, but I wanted to give you this background before. Yeah. Hi, Natalia. You there. So um, maybe some of you um, recognize this graphic in the center. So it's based on the hero's journey. Maybe you've heard about the hero's journey from Joseph Campbell. He's, uh, you know, well known for movies and books like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. So eventually this um, hero, right, that leaves the familiarity of their comfort, of their uh, known life and embarks in the unknown, in this adventure, and then crosses this threshold and then meets some allies and also has to overcome some challenges and, and uh, ordeals to actually um, come back transformed and bring this uh, gift back home to share with the family and friends. So we um, are um, based on this uh, hero's journey to create the, the design of this course uh, for you guys. So what we have uh, discovered or from, you know, from the experience that we have, people are looking into transformational uh, trips or transformational travel experiences, usually when they are going through one of these um, catalysts, we call the catalyst, transformation catalyst, the three Ds. Okay, so it's disruption, discomfort, and desire. So disruption is uh, often when people are at life crossroads or career crossroads, maybe, you know, something has changed in their life that they cannot go business as usual, they cannot continue their life like 
uh, as usual, something has to change. And this may be, um, you know, from breaking up with their partners, divorce, uh, empty nesters, uh, approaching uh, retirement or career breaks, you know, something that changed in their life. And sometimes they didn't choose, but they cannot go as off uh, as business as usual. So they are forced, kind of forced to change. So they look at transformational travel, travel to help them to navigate this transition, this uh, disruption. Then there is discomfort. In this case, the person, the traveler, doesn't necessarily went through any change in their life, but they don't feel maybe, um, you know, something is off in their life, uh, something is not okay. So they want to fix this. They, 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 want, they want travel to help them to take this feeling away somehow. So they feel uncomfortable. So that's why they want to change something. And the last one is desire. So desire is for those people who are not, they have not necessarily any problem, but they feel this desire always to better themselves. They are this growth, growth mindset that um, they want to become the best version they can be. They know there is more for them in life uh, and in the world to explore. And just they are in this, uh, you know, uh, kind of mindset to always want to grow and learn, right? So this is the desire. So the catalyst, it can be as simple as life milestones. So people turning like 40, 50, 60 is enough for them to want to stop and say, okay, uh, what I've done in my life, where I'm going, right? And travel helps them to have this time away from their daily responsibilities and the, you know, the daily uh, will of life to actually pause, focus on themselves sometimes for the first time in their life and see, okay, reconnect with who they are authentically and what they want to do with their lives. So travel gives you this perfect space for that, right? To get clarity, to listen to the inner voice. Life crossroads, as I mentioned, relationships, etc. So when you travel, you see different. You have new points of view. Uh, you have different perspectives. You meet people that will help you better understand yourself as a difference, uh, who you really are and who who you were brought to be um, culturally, yeah? So some things are not just you, it's the way you were, were brought up, the, the culture where you, um, you know, what you learn. And you see other ways of doing and you start questioning, okay, is that the only way or there is other ways? So it helps you understand better yourself and better the world. And when you see different and you also do different because when you travel, you often leave your comfort zone. You cannot do your... Uh, routine as you do every day you are more present you are not this in this autopilot um you take more conscious decisions um and when you see different and you do different you become different so you have this whatever is the personal are seeking you know personal growth clarity answers they cannot find at home um confidence etc so now I'm going to tell you about the, um, uh, the, uh, the program itself. Okay, so this was an introduction about transformational travel. By the way, if you have any questions, please leave it in the chat. And we'll, when we finish, we will open for, for questions. But feel free to share it in the chat if you uh, have a question as, as we go. So transformational travel design program. So the, uh, the transformational tra travel design program helps you to learn the roots of transformational travel and the philosophy behind it, okay? So when you take the course, you will learn practical tools to help your clients to move from the place where they are to the, where they want to be, okay? So how we can use travel as this vehicle of transformation, of change. So, um, and then how you can take, uh, how they can take, uh, of course, you can implement it with yourself as well, right? But um, how uh, the traveler can take this new font understanding of themselves, about others, about the world, and how they can bring it forward in their life. So we mentioned it earlier that there is uh, this change need to be sustained over time. Otherwise, it's just temporary. It's not lasting. So we cannot call it transformational unless it's lasting, right? So not only how we can um, you know, help to create this change, but how we can help to sustain, right? In their life or in their business. So, and of course, when you take the course, you also show to the world your commitment to conscious and transformational travel principles, which is what we stand for here in the TTC and what we support. So um, these are some, uh, um, some, some things that people, participants, students, graduates of the course uh, told me when I asked, right? So the content will help you reflect on what do you need to create uh, to have transformational journey? What needs to be done before 
during and after. Because what happens um, most of the times, uh, the designs of the trip, design uh, travel experiences are often focused on, on the trip itself. But there is a preparation that the traveler needs to do before, needs to do before, setting intentions, etc. And also after, as we said, it's very important to sustain the changes. So you will learn uh, how you can measure transformation. This is a big question that we always um, are asked sometimes, right? So is this measurable? How we can measure it? Because if you cannot measure it, you don't know, right, if it's actually happening. So how you can measure it through, throughout the journey? How to make sure that what you are doing is good for local communities, for travelers, for the planet, um, people that maybe have some facilitator for their trips. So how you can make sure is the right person, the right fit, etc. So what are the elements of this course? So before, during, and after. We follow the same system. So the course itself is a transformation journey. Um, so it starts with the week before we get started, a few days before we get started with some pre-course uh, assignments that Professor Ivana uh, will give to you. And then as we go during the course, of course, uh, this is uh, the journey is unfolding during this time. And then at the end, you have two weeks after to deliver your capstone project, which is like um, the, the completion of the course. So you will get your uh, certificate when you complete the capstone, capstone project at the end. Okay. So now step by step, um, before uh, the, 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 the course starts, so you have uh, these pre-course assignments to get slowly immersed, okay? So you get already in the mood, so you don't come like, it's a warm up, you don't come there like uh, cold, you just got your, your, your work before, your previous work, and everybody in the cohort is the same, so you're in the perfect space of mind and you've done your homework, and you have your self-reflection, which is very important because um, this is not about us giving you all the information and you're just taking it, but also how you can integrate it and implement it. So it's a very hands-on uh, course, okay? So it's about implement the real implementation in your real business, in your real life. And then you will have, yes, info, surveys, etc. some tasks before you start. And then during the course, because we have different formats of this course, it's the same course, it's just the way it's delivered is different, okay? So we have the intensive. The intensive, as the word says, is intensive. So you do the course in either three days or five days. The one that we have this year coming in December is a five day. We don't have any other three days this year. So in the five day, uh, you have the first two days is about settling in and, you know, uh, beginning uh, with this gardening. Uh, Ivana loves uh, to give the um, comparison with gardeners, that you are gardeners, you arrive to the course and you plant a seed and you get out of the course with a plant, <laughs> with a tree, right? So it's something that you work uh, over, over the course. So then the journey continues and then at the end um, you have, you know, the, the capstone project as I mentioned. Um, and the five week signature course, what you do, so instead of going three or five days all in, you do it this uh, over time, over the period of five weeks. So it gives you more time to self-reflection, you know, it's like twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, couple of weeks each day. So we meet for two hours, Tuesdays, two hours, Thursdays, and then you have time between sessions to implement, to self-reflect, to exchange, right? Because it's very interactive. You will not learn only for the professor, uh, by the way, you learn from each other. You learn a lot from the other cohort members. So, so solo and group reflection, time for comprehension, integration, um, etc. And at the end is this uh, post-course uh, capstone project and some <laughs> secret, uh, even to, uh, not to reveal too much, to not spoil the surprises. But yes, this is the idea, right? So we plan the seed and over the time, everything you learn is how you can implement it in your real life. And then the capstone project is something that you get out uh, to better your program or your um, you know, trips or your something in your business. It can be anything. So it's the culmination, uh, the graduation submission. So you will get uh, your uh, title of transformer uh, by the TTC, and, and then you can, uh, you know, integrate it in, in, in your life yeah, and your business. So three-day intensive, five-day intensive, and five weeks in it. Okay, so these are the ways we deliver this course. Which format is for you? Maybe you are wondering. So the three-day and five-day intensive is ideal for those that are seeking concentrated, immersive, six hour a day or four hour a day. So the three-day course is like six hour a day. So if you go 
and, and the five days, four out of the day. So if you go for any of these, I would recommend just not have, don't have too much going on those days because it's, it's intensive and it's like, um, you know, lots of, lots of things in a few days. But if you say this is the time I have and I prefer to go, you know, all in during this time, that would be the one for you. If you prefer just taking it more slow and go over time, the five week would be the perfect for you if you want to have more time for reflection, integration, and the application. As I said, a couple of hours, Tuesdays and, and Thursdays. So you see, we keep the cohorts small so we can go deeper. Um, previous, uh, previous participants found the course is not only educational, but also emotionally and professionally enriching. It's not only about what you will learn, it's about the people you will meet and the relationships you will build that will be longer after the course. You co-create these memorable and meaningful experiences that will transcend into community bonding. And this course is a valuable source of experience and expertise from professionals from all around the world. So all diversity, all different backgrounds, all different stages in their business, we all learn from each other. Some people, what they said, for example, here we have um, the founder of Barracuda Group, Juliana, she said, if your business reflects your personal purpose and you believe it can contribute to the human evolution and also leave a legacy for future generations, the Transformational Travel Design Program will inspire and guide you through the process of designing transformative experiences to your clients. And Eleanor Fish uh, from Run Wild Retreats, she said the course put language in the process that they were witnessing their guests to go through and they were not fully aware of what were happening. And with the capstone project, what she did is redesign the whole onboarding process to better support the transformation of her clients. In this preparation before, right, and the onboarding session, she was like, oh, okay, I can do this and this and this. And she was already very expert because this is some uh, questions I have sometimes. People that feel, I already do that for years. Can I really learn something new? Um, you always learn whatever you are um, in your process. And the opposite is also true. People asking, I actually don't have a business yet. I'm just starting or putting my you know, toes in the waters. Is this for me? Everybody will learn what they are ready to receive, all the information they are ready to receive. So she said the course was a revelation for her. So reasons why um, the course would be um, supportive for you if you decide to take it. Positive impact. So you will have the tools to design and create transformational customer journey. You will have a community or build a community of like-minded people from all around the world. You will be able to create meaningful travel experiences that are good for people, communities, and the whole world. And then for your market, right? So this translates into a better customer satisfaction. And of course, if they are happier, they will be more loyal. They will come back again and refer all their friends and family to you. And then your values and the values of you know your business will be aligned, and then you will have this. Um, you will be accredited, uh, TTC accredited. You will have this certificate um, that I will talk about uh, here, right? So you have an official accreditation badge that you can see here in the bottom. You can put in your website. You can put in the signature of uh, your uh, email that you are certified by the um, global leader in transformational travel, which is the TTC and you have the certification of completion, you will be listed in our alumni page on our website. So people who will visit the TTC website, which are thousands, um, so you they will go there and say, okay, who took the course? Alumni, you will be there uh, as, a, as a graduate. Um, then also, if you, take, if you want to uh, co-design or partner with the TTC with your trips, only, we only work with people that are accredited so we can guarantee the experiences their design are aligned with our values. So this is also an opportunity for you to collaborate or create trips together with the TTC if you become a graduate. Um, you have the certification and the marketing highlights that I mentioned already. So the course is open to all. Doesn't matter your background. We had people from all kinds of industries, uh, outside the travel industry as well. We had from the music industry. So people that, because eventually it's the transformational journey that, that the customers go through it. And yes, we are going to use travel as an example, but uh, it can be implemented in any transformational journey with your clients. So whether you are experienced in, in the industry or just exploring a new passion, just bring your authentic self, open mind, and, and engage. So now the dates. Uh, five week signature is the one that's coming now, next week, actually. It starts um, the 8th of October and finishes the 7th of November, right? So as I mentioned already, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, every Tuesday and Thursday for the next five weeks. 
two hour sessions every day. And the time so we start is 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. if you are in Easter time, and 6 p.m. if you are in Central European time. And then you have to think that extra two hours a week outside these times for you to work in your capstone or do your you know, reflection and some exercises that even I are going to ask you uh, after the sessions. So consider this time is needed as well. So the price is 1,950 US dollars per person. And there is also a monthly installments. So you can pay it in three monthly installments with no in interest, free interest, okay? Then if you prefer the intensive, the five-day intensive is coming in December between the 2nd and the 12th of December. So how it works? Week one is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? Four hours each day. And week two, the second week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, for four hours each day. So you have four-hour sessions during these five days. And then this starts at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central European time. And it's the same two hours a week additional. So the price for this one is 1,500 US dollar per person. So what's the price difference? And why is that? Because it's the same course, as I mentioned, but of course you will have much more support from the cohort, from the facilitator when you are doing the five week. You will have all this feedback, all this you know, back and forth. Um, and this one after five days, uh, the, the course is over, right? So you have much more access to uh, our experts in the five week. Now, if I mentioned earlier, if you are a member of the allyship community, as I know, here I and Natalia are members, um, or you want to become a member of our community, you will have 15% discount in the courses, okay? So other benefits on top of this discount, uh, if you want to be a member, you will also have marketing visibility, your profile in our website as a member, you will have plenty of networking opportunities uh, with our members, we meet at, at least twice a month educational events, like only gatherings. We have also WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn groups. You will be able to be a speaker in one of our events if you're interested in having more visibility within the community. Engage with media heroes. We have media uh, heroes, which are top journalists that you will have also access to them. And they're always looking for you know, stories to, to write about in their media. You will get featured in our newsletter when you join. Um, this, comes, this comes as this one I mentioned, and you have also your logo. So if you want uh, to join the community uh, and you are in a small business, less than five uh, full-time members, the uh, price is 299 US dollars a year, or you can pay monthly 37 US, US dollars a month, but with the annual, you, you save like 35%, which is the one I, I would recommend. Again, this is not... You can take one or the other. You say, look, Sonia, I'm interested in the course. I'm not interested in the allyship. No problem. Or the opposite. You want to join the allyship community, but you're not interested in the course. Same, right? So you can have one, the other, or both. Just if you want to do both, I would recommend, of course, become first an ally. So then you have the code to apply the discount in the course. Okay? That's how I would do it. So that's it. Um, I will just now open it for questions. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Um, let me see if there is anything in the chat. Ash, you put something in the chat as well. Tell me. So what is the difference between the immersive and Ecuador hmm. versus the intensive, I mean, I, I know obviously it winds up being in Ecuador, but trying to understand that difference, because I know I told you I want to do the program. I wanted a little bit more time, but then whenever I talk to Sarah, Ecuador sounds like a really good fit too. So I was trying to understand the, that difference. Yeah. As an Yes, and this is an interesting question. I didn't put the one in Ecuador here. It's next year in February, actually. Um, maybe I should update that. It's interesting if anyone is interested. But actually, the Ecuador is an in-person one. So it's kind of a mix between a, a trip, an ally gathering in person, and the course. Okay, so if you have the opportunity to meet in person and they have some activities, you know, also um, they, will, they will host you there uh, as a member, as a cohort, and they will show you around and they will deliver, deliver the course in person. So that's the difference. It's like a trip and a course together. And it's happening in February in Ecuador. So yes, uh, thanks, Aish. I don't remember how many days, maybe Sarah told you how many days uh, the course is, like a five-day. I don't have now this information here, but I can find out. I think out. it's six. 
I, I think it was six. I was actually getting on the website while you were going through this and I mm -hmm. stopped. Um, so yeah, I think it's six days and she was explaining it was a lot more like hands on, like physically doing it. Um, so yeah, yeah I'm, in a room in person with people is like another dynamic, right? So, the, but Ivan is doing great job to do this, um, you know, uh, uh, online. So she's really, um, she, she's gifted, you know, to, to have this involvement. And I haven't seen this uh, often, you know, so it's difficult to break this, uh, this uh, distance that there is the barrier of the camera, right? But she does it very well. So it's really um, very hands-on as well, the, the online one. Uh, but of course, um, nothing compares to being there in person, in the flesh together, and you will spend 24 hours with this cohort, right? So um, it's, it's much more, um, it's different, it's like a trip with the course together. So yes, good point. Maybe I can also break these slides uh, for the next presentation to add the, the immersive one. Yeah, I just was wondering, it's five days actually, because it's February 24th through the 28th, but then you have an option where you can do a pre or a post. Mm -hmm. um, so it winds up being the same thing. So it's five days, um, whether you do the intensive in December or the five days exactly. in Ecuador. Yeah, the intensive in December is gonna be four hours during five days. And in Ecuador, you have the whole day with activities and course and, and in person. Okay. Okay. More questions? Hi, Sonia. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for the, sorry for being late. No worries. Um, I really want to do the course. As you know, we are from the university and we are um, working on a new master program on transformation. And I think it's gonna it's unique in the world. Um, hopefully we are gonna get the Erasmus Mundus recognition. We are starting September, 2026, and we are actually retraining ourselves, you know, all the lectures into all this knowledge. Um, I, I really want to do the course. My only problem is the timetable because I'm in Europe, as you know, mm -hmm. And at 6 p.m. is like I'm with my little daughter and it's like dinner time. And, and you know, when you do four hours in December, um, I guess it's also going to be the same is at 5 p.m. I saw before, but then it's four hours. So it will be late as well. Yeah. So yeah. So and 5 p.m. is also not um, this thing of Ecuador. I had no idea about this trip of five days. It sounds like actually, you know, super interesting to do it in person. Um, I was wondering, are you planning any in-person trip in Europe next mm -hmm. year? Because if that, you know, for just having a little daughter, it would be way more practical for me. I'm, I'm talking really from my personal situation. I don't know of if course. anybody... It's challenging <laughs> um, to find a time that suits everyone, you know, it's, it's, yeah. that's one of the challenges. We are um, global uh, and people from... Yeah. And, and it's very challenging to find a time that, that works and I totally get it. So we don't plan to have any in Europe uh, at this point okay. for next year. Okay. So I know that. Um, actually, the only one we have is the immersive in Ecuador at, at this time. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, so the online ones, we, I would say, yeah, we don't have dates for the online ones actually next year either. So um, it's, it's actually something that I'm sure, I'm sure it will happen, but it's like we don't have dates, right? So, okay, and the online training is always at the same time? It's not like a bit later, or it's always at the same time? It's at the same time, yeah. So it's going to be 6 p.m., the five yeah. week. We are more interested in the five week than the five day, right? Yeah, well, I'm I'm open to anything I can do, actually, the five weeks or the five days, but it's always a timetable for me. The, the five week would be between six and eight for you. Yeah, yeah. And it's like... Five weeks, <laughs> five week. yeah. It's very difficult to manage that. And the thing is, these uh, courses are not recorded. Um, or... Yeah, yeah. No, you have to be there in person. It makes total sense for what you you explain. You know, you need to be able to talk and interact and and not have interruptions. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that was my question. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I know. I know. Is. Um... If I can find out other dates, you know, and I know Aish was also interested, but it's not, 
in the calendar yet. So we don't not know. in the calendar, okay. Because um you know, coming from, from the university, um we are, you know, even if it's not me who does the course, it can be another of my colleagues, but we well maybe we don't need to ask that now, but um we can pay we have to pay actually because of the funding internal at the university before the end of December. Would that be possible to pay the course before the end of December and then do it, you know, yeah. the first half of the second year or the next year? Yes. Yeah? Yes. That okay. Would, that would be a problem. Perfect. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Natalia. Yes, we can we can talk after. I uh, will see if yeah. we think about a solution or something. But I, I think you. it will enjoy so much the course. I know. And these Ecuador things sound amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. Let's go to Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> go together. <laughs> Let's I, would go. <laughs> love, I would love to go one week. I promise you that personally, I also need that. It would be so, you know, yes. I've, my daughter is two years old. I've only been away three days in a conference and it was great. Mm -hmm. And she was great. She was super happy as well between her father and um, grandma, you know. So a week is very tempting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so cool. It would be amazing. Okay, what else? How how are you doing, guys? Tivo, any question? Uh, can Can you tell us, please, um, because you in Ecuador, what is included in the experience that you offer exactly? Mm. Ah, the thing you're asking me about, the thing I wasn't ready for. Let <laughs> me check. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, I I actually needed to update it and. Um, I tell you, but after connecting with Sarah and understanding more, I was like, "Yeah, I yeah. just need to wait." I and see. Yeah, it's very easy. To Let me see. Yeah, immersive experience in Ecuador. It's in, it's in the website, so you go to experiences and then immersive, and is five days between Monday, twenty fourth of February, Friday, twenty eighth of February. Okay, twenty twenty five. This is in uh, Tierra del Volcán, Hacienda del Porvenir. Um, it's a beautiful space, so you will see pictures there on the website. So what includes accommodation, meals, uh, drinks, activities, the guides, English-speaking guides, facilitators, um, transport from Quito, uh, way back, and entrance to um, mountain spa wet area, oh my God. Materials um, and what does not include the insurance, tips, alcoholic drinks, the, the flights, and anything else that is not in the tour. Okay, so um, day one, arrival and intention setting in Quito. And you have the lunch, you enjoy there, uh, the historic, uh, historical old town, you have the lunch, and you just sit and relax before starting. Day two, connection with place. Actually, it's, it's this is very well um, going into detail. So maybe I can put the uh, link here and you can read it. Uh, so you don't need to go and read that thing. So you put it in the chat um, and every day is like a topic, you know, like day three is connection with the self, day four, embracing the infinite, day five, connection with others. So uh, it's kind of, yeah, learning the, the theory and then implementing it with, with, the, um, with, the, with the experience, with the travel experience. So okay, you have really there... I cannot see the price. So where did you tell the price, Ash? Do you know? How much is it? I cannot see it here. I registered now, maybe. She told me, I think it was around 2,800 um, plus your flights, which you would have, well, from Atlanta, I would have two flights, but obviously from everyone else, um, you would have different flights, but you have, you would fly into Santiago and then you would have a local flight that would go to Quito. Um, but I mean, it's, and I mean, and you would also have the payment options was what Sarah was explaining. Um, I see the price actually. depends on the accommodation. Okay, the price depends on the accommodation. So oh, it, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. It depended on I see it now. the accommodation. Yeah. Okay. So um, there is an accommodation. The, more the most affordable one is actually 2,500 US dollar for these uh, five days. And then there is 3,200, 3,400. 
Okay, so it's between 2,500 and 3,550. So different accommodations, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight choices. Okay. Um, so yeah, well, this price is based in double occupancy, I see. So maybe if you go single room, there is some extra uh, fee. So that's it, you can uh, to book, you can put your deposit in the website, is all open. So registrations are open for this one as well. Yeah. It's exciting, huh? Good, thanks, Tibo. Okay, Anaya, do you have any question? You're good? I'm good, thank you. Good, happy. Sima, I don't see you, but if you have any question, you can unmute yourself as well. I cannot hear you. Anyway, let's see the chat. Okay. Okay, guys, so if there is nothing else, we will finish here today. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We'll send the recording and all this yes. final information. Natalia, yes. Just a second. That um, sorry, uh, Anna, Anna, yeah. yeah. I just saw your message. If yeah. you're interested about the course, I'm gonna give you my email, and, okay, and let's sure. keep in touch. Thank you. Um, it's a still. Uh, we are going through the accreditation process, but it's gonna start in September 2026. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm happy to share more information. Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, no problem. Really nice the details and connect contact details in the chat if you want to connect after. That that would be great. So you can continue the conversation um, further and going, going further. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for being here today. I appreciate your time and your positive energy and all of your questions. I will send the recording and the instructions um, after this call. Okay, so lots of love and safe travels. Bye.